cart by their board group areas act. Learners and teachers were forced to leave their school building. Many carried their benches to the new school about three kilometers away. Half a century later, and in the spirit of restorative justice, they returned with two of the original desks that will take pride of place in the old building. I think the, the, this part of Stellenbosch, which we call Deflector, right? this part was, this was like District 6. It was a cultural home to you know, a, a community that didn't necessarily live here because you had people from Peniel and Kyle and Jamestown and Raithby and even people from beyond the borders of um, Stellenbosch that came here and when they came here they didn't come only to the school but they also came to the churches around here. The old building was symbolically rededicated to its original owners in 2007. It currently houses the university's division for social impact and a number of NGOs. The university says it's determined to redress past injustices. The university benefited from, from forced removal in the past uh, in that uh, these buildings then uh, following removal of, of uh, inhabitants of, of the flukta of this area were then moved to a, a new area and a new school and so today what we're able to do is to actually symbolically return to this area and where we're going to create a living museum at the old look of school that depicts um, all the things that uh, actually took place in that time. A hugely symbolic event for past and current learners. I personally feel like this was such a great honor to do for the school and for the community in S1 because like this was a tragic time. I really feel like Lukov is a good school because uh, there's um, a big history behind the school. Recently, the University of Cape Town announced the return of the skeletons of 11 people. They were obtained unethically by the institution in the apartheid era. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Stellenbosch.